Our galaxy, the Milky Way, is made up of around 100 billion stars. To understand its evolution, we need to know exactly where we stand in this mass of constantly moving and changing celestial objects. To do this, we use astrometry, the science of measuring the position, distance and movement of stars around us. And astrometry is just about to take a giant leap forward with the launch of ESA's new space telescope, Gaia. Gaia will make it possible to measure some billion stars of our Milky Way with roughly a milliard second level of accuracy, a precision never achievable before. If you take a, a Euro coin and you put on the moon and you, and you look from the Earth, the angular opening of this Euro coin is exactly 10 microseconds. And this is the capability of Gaia, which are uh, beyond what you can believe. The secret of achieving such precision is in the development of several groundbreaking new technologies specific to the Gaia mission. Because many of the stars being measured are extremely distant and very faint, 400,000 times fainter than can be seen with the naked eye, Gaia houses an extremely sensitive camera, a hundred times more powerful than a standard camera. We have a huge focal plate. The, the typical detector in our camera is one square centimeter, maybe three square centimeter. Here we are talking about almost half a square meter. So it's a huge camera, which is made by a mosaic of 106 CCD, but each CCD is huge. Another important factor in the accuracy of Gaia's measurements is the creation of a stable environment. Gaia's 10 mirrors fold and focus the light beams coming from its two telescopes along a path until they finally hit the focal plane of CCD detectors. For all these elements to remain stable, they're built into a structure that won't be affected by the often turbulent conditions in space. And that is done by using a very new innovative material, which is called silicon carbide. It's a combination of silicium and carbon, which is cooked at 3000 degree, and it becomes as stiff and as hard as diamond. And with that one, we can build optical bench, we can build a telescope, which is so stable, which is not moving at all in space, even under the worst thermal environment. But stability is also about temperature. As well as choosing a thermally calm location known as Lagrange 2 for Gaia's orbit, ESA has developed a deployable circular sun shield, a unique system for protecting the spacecraft. Over 10 meters in diameter, the sun shield will always face the sun and guarantee Gaia is in the shade and at a stable temperature. And finally, Gaia is equipped with a specially developed propulsion system. In order to have extreme precision, the satellite is equipped with eight microthrusters, which eject cold gas with a pressure of about one micronewton. That's around a million times less powerful than a regular thruster. A system designed to minimize disruption and maximize stability and precision of direction. Thanks to all these developments, Gaia will have unprecedented precision to measure the stars in our galaxy. It will provide scientists from all fields of astrophysics with a new reference catalogue. And in particular, this will enable them to make a new 3D map of the Milky Way.